everyone welcome to my new video today i'm going to show you what i eat in a day and this will be la edition because when i'm in the us i don't eat most of the animal products i start my day with a cup of coffee i usually have a cold brew with a splash of oat milk and my go-to breakfast is coconut or cashew yogurt with different toppings what I usually add to my yogurt bowl is blueberries, granola, honey, and almond butter. It's quick, easy, and very healthy breakfast. Okay, so I wanted to show you which vitamins I take every day. From month to month, I change them up sometimes. Depends what my body needs. Let's start from this one. I just recently bought this. I used to take it a long time ago, and then I just recently realized that uh, maybe I want to incorporate it into everyday routine and take it for a month and see if I feel any difference when I take it and when I don't take these vitamins. Then we have vitamin B. So I usually take multivitamins for women. There are different brands that you can buy. I usually take it um, every month and it has vitamin B but because I'm not taking those vitamins anymore I've decided to change it up then the next one is something that I used to take a while ago these vitamins you're not supposed to take for more than three months in a row I do it even less than that because I noticed that it has a bad impact on my skin I break out if I take it for too long this is for skin hair and nails this is a European brand and it works well I just don't like to take it for more than a month and then I take a break for a few months before I start taking it again. And I think I showed you these ones already. It's Good Girl Probiotics. I just like to take them just to keep my body in balance. And I think they work well. So whenever I'm in the US, I would buy this brand. It's snack time and what I had this day was a Kind Bar ice cream. I have it almost every day and it's my go-to treat. And then I had one more coffee before lunch. I was super hungry before my lunch so I decided to snack on some baby carrots and spicy hummus. I have decided to make vegan tacos. It's very fast and easy meal to make. First thing, I peeled medium-sized red onion. I chopped it into small pieces. Then I put a big pot on the stove and added some olive oil. When the pot was heated, I added onion and let it cook slowly for a few minutes. For my tacos, I used black beans, but you can use whichever ones you prefer. I rinsed them first. And at the end, I added a tablespoon of taco seasoning and you can add a bit of salt as well. I added some water and let it cook for a few minutes. Of course, if needed, you can just add more water later on. Then I preheated the oven and I got my grain-free taco shells. I usually leave them in for three to five minutes and that's just enough. You can add more vegetables or toppings if you like. This is how I prefer to eat it, just plain and simple. And of course, I will leave the original recipe down below. As you noticed, I have a sweet tooth and I love chocolate. In the afternoon, I had some hazelnut butter chocolate with my favorite tea. For dinner, I made salmon and a simple salad. I already showed you this recipe in one of my videos. It's very quick to make and I usually have it twice a week. Seasonings that I put on my salmon are salt, pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. I usually use romaine hearts lettuce for my salad. It's so delicious. Of course, I wash it first and chop it up into small pieces. Um, then I add 
cherry tomatoes, chickpeas, sunflower seeds and spread with olive oil. Sometimes I even add baked sweet potatoes and other vegetables. When the salmon is cooked, I let it cool down for a few minutes and that's the finished meal. Thank you.